We have this maple that we're going to be pruning. I've been maintaining it for the past eight years. It's a beautiful tree. Excellent shade tree. This bottom limb, we are not going to be cutting off. We are just going to be making clearance for the vehicles and so that delivery trucks will be able to go under it. You can see how the inside has been maintained. There's not a lot of limbs coming in the middle, which is good. We want the wind to blow through the tree. So we're going to be removing the ends all over here going towards the roof. Now you might think to take this limb completely off it would be the most logical idea but if we take such a large limb off of this trunk the cut will never heal. The decay process would happen quicker than the tree healing the wound. So that's why we're leaving this limb. And then over here towards the neighbor's service lines. We're just cutting those couple limbs there off. You gotta watch how many limbs you take off on the tree, how many large limbs you take off it'll actually rot the tree out in 10 to 15 years you'll have to cut the tree down because there'll be a cavity where you made that cut it's probably 15 degrees cooler in the shade because of this tree We just got done finished pruning this swamp maple. We took a lot out of it because these limbs are so heavy. All the weight on the ends can potentially break them. It looks beautiful now. Plenty of room for UPS or delivery trucks on this limb here. And the biggest cuts we made were about six inches so that they heal. <clears throat> you can see I, I took this limb off here. That was going over the driveway. There was just way too much weight on that limb. That's why we took it off. Plenty of clearance over the house. Under normal, normal circumstances, this tree won't have to be pruned for eight to ten years. Here's a view across the street. And then we took the bottom limb that's going over the neighbor's service line. So there's plenty of clearance here as well.